The Minoan civilization was an Aegean Bronze Age civilization that arose on the island of Crete and other Aegean islands such as Santorini and flourished from approximately 3650 to 1400 BCE. It was rediscovered at the beginning of the 20th century through the work of British archaeologist Arthur Evans. Will Durant referred to it as the first link in the European chain. There is recent stone tool evidence that humans, either pre-human hominins or early modern humans, reached the island of Crete perhaps as early as 130,000 years ago. However, the evidence for the first anatomically modern human presence dates to 10,000 minus 12,000 years ago. It was not until 5000 BCE in the Neolithic period that the first signs of advanced agriculture appeared in the Aegean, marking the beginning of civilization. Overview Palaces are the best-known Minoan building types excavated on Crete. They are monumental buildings serving administrative purposes, as evidenced by the large archives unearthed by archaeologists. Each of the palaces excavated to date has its own unique features, but they also share features that set them apart from other structures. The palaces are often multi-story, with interior and exterior staircases, light wells, massive columns, storage magazines, and courtyards. Etymology The term Minoan refers to the mythic king Minos of Knossos, who first coined the term is debated. It is commonly attributed to famed Minoan archaeologist Arthur Evans. Minos was associated in Greek myth with the labyrinth, which Evans identified with the site at Knossos. However, Carl Hoke used the name Das Minwa Archer Craters in 1825 for volume 2 of his major work, Creta, which would appear to be the first known use of the term Minoan to mean ancient Cretan. Likely, Arthur Evans read the book continuing the use of the term in his own writings and findings. Evans said, to this early civilization of Crete as a whole I have proposed, and the suggestion has been generally adopted by the archaeologists of this and other countries, to apply the name Minoan. Evans claims to have applied it, but not to have invented it. Hoke had in mind the Crete of mythology. He had no idea that the archaeological Crete had existed. Evans's 1931 claim that the term was unminted before his use of it has been tagged of brazen suggestion by Kerad Imers and Momogliano. However, Evans's statement applies to archaeological contexts. Since he was the one who discovered the civilization, and the term could not have been in use to mean it previously, he did coin that specific meaning chronology and history. Rather than associate absolute calendar dates for the Minoan period, archaeologists use two systems of relative chronology. The first, created by Evans and modified by later archaeologists, is based on pottery styles and the presence of imported Egyptian artifacts, which can be correlated with the chronology of ancient Egypt. Evans's scheme divides the Minoan period into three main eras. Early Minoan, Middle Minoan, and Late Minoan. These eras are further subdivided, for instance into Early Minoan I, II, III. Another dating system, proposed by the Greek archaeologist Nicholas Platon, is based on the development of the architectural complexes known as palaces at Knossos, Phaistos, Mylia and Cato Zacris. He divides the Minoan period into pre-palatial, proto-palatial, neo-palatial and post-palatial sub-periods. The relationship between these two systems is given in the accompanying table, with approximate calendar dates drawn from Warren and Hankey. The Thera eruption occurred during a mature phase of the LMIA period. Efforts to establish the calendar date of the volcanic eruption have been extremely controversial. Radiocarbon dating has indicated a date in the late 17th century BCE. Those radiocarbon dates, however, conflict with the estimates of archaeologists who synchronize the eruption with the conventional Egyptian chronology and obtain a date of around 1525 to 1500 BCE. See the article on dating the Thera eruption for more discussion. The eruption often is identified as a natural event catastrophic for the culture, leading to its rapid collapse. 
History The oldest evidence of inhabitants on Crete are pre-Ceramic Neolithic farming community remains that date to approximately 7000 BCE. The Neolithic population dwelt in open villages. Fishermen's huts were built on the shores, while the fertile Nessera plain was used for agriculture. The Bronze Age began in Crete around 2700 BCE. In the late 3rd millennium BCE, several localities on the island developed into centers of commerce and handwork. This enabled the upper classes to continuously practice leadership activities and to expand their influence. It is likely that the original hierarchies of the local elites were replaced by monarchist power structures, a precondition for the creation of the great palaces. From the early Bronze Age, the Minoan civilization on Crete showed a promise of greatness. At the end of the MMII period, there was a large disturbance in Crete, probably an earthquake, or possibly an invasion from Anatolia. The palaces at Knossos, Phaistos, Mylia, and Cato Zacris were destroyed. But with the start of the Neopalatial period, population increased again. The palaces were rebuilt on a larger scale and new settlements were built all over the island. This period represents the apex of the Minoan civilization. There was another natural catastrophe around 1600 BCE, possibly an eruption of the Thera volcano. The Minoans rebuilt the palaces, however they drastically changed. The influence of the Minoan civilization outside Crete has been seen in the evidence of valuable Minoan handicraft items on the Greek mainland. It is likely that the ruling house of Mycenae was connected to the Minoan trade network. After around 1700 BCE, the material culture on the Greek mainland achieved a new level due to Minoan influence. Connections between Egypt and Crete are prominent. Minoan ceramics are found in Egyptian cities and the Minoans imported several items from Egypt, especially papyrus, as well as architectural and artistic ideas. The Egyptian hieroglyphs served as a model for the Minoan pictographic writing, from which the famous Linear A and Linear B writing systems later developed. Bengtsson has also demonstrated Minoan influence among Canaanite artifacts. Around 1450 BCE, Minoan culture experienced a turning point due to a natural catastrophe, possibly an earthquake. Another eruption of the Thera volcano has been linked to this downfall, but its dating and implications remain controversial. Several important palaces in locations such as Malia, Tulisos, Phaistos, Hyia Triada as well as the living quarters of Knossos were destroyed. The palace in Knossos seems to have remained largely intact. This resulted in the dynasty in Knossos being able to spread its influence over large parts of Crete, until it was overrun by Mycenaean Greeks. The Minoan palace sites were occupied by the Mycenaeans around 1420 BCE, who adapted the Linear A Minoan script to the needs of their own Mycenaean language. It was a form of Greek, which was written in Linear B. The first such archive anywhere is in the LMII era, Room of the Chariot Tablets. The Mycenaeans generally tended to adapt, rather than destroy, Minoan culture, religion and art. They continued to operate the economic system in bureaucracy of the Minoans. During LMIII, 1, Amundhotep III at Koml Hayton took note of KFTW as one of the secret lands of the north of Asia. Also mentioned are Cretan cities, such as Mu Nu Iota Sigma Omicron Sigma, Phi Alpha Iota Sigma Tau Omicron Sigma, Kappa Upsilon Delta Omega Nu Iota Alpha and K Nu Omega Sigma Sigma Omicron Sigma and some toponyms reconstructed as belonging to the Cyclades or the Greek mainland. If the values of these Egyptian names are accurate, then this pharaoh did not privilege Lmii Knossos above the other states in the region. After about a century of partial recovery, most Cretan cities and palaces went into decline in the 13th century BC. The last Linear A archives date to Lmiiia. Knossos remained an administrative center until 1200 BCE. The last of the Minoan sites was the defensive mountain site of Carfi. 
a refuge site which displays vestiges of Minoan civilization almost into the Iron Age. Geography Crete is a mountainous island with natural harbors. There are signs of earthquake damage at many Minoan sites and clear signs of both uplifting of land and submersion of coastal sites due to tectonic processes all along the coasts. Homer recorded a tradition that Crete had 90 cities. To judge from the palace sites, the island was probably divided into at least eight political units during the height of the Minoan period. The north is thought to have been governed from Knossos, the south from Phaistos, the central eastern part from Mylia, the eastern tip from Cato Zacris, and the west from Harnia. Smaller palaces have been found in other places. Some of the major Minoan archaeological sites are Palaces Knossos, the largest Bronze Age archaeological site on Crete, was purchased for excavations by Evans on March 16, 1900. Phaistos, the second largest palatial building on the island, excavated by the Italian school shortly after Knossos Mylia, the subject of French excavations. A palatial center which affords a look into the development of the palaces in the protopalatial period Cato Zacris, a palatial site excavated by Greek archaeologists in the far east of the island. This is also referred to as Zacro in archaeological literature. Galatas, the most recently confirmed palatial site, Adir Triada, an administrative center close to Phaistos. Gornia, a town site excavated in the first quarter of the 20th century by the American school. Piergos, an early Minoan site on the south of the island. Vassalaki, an early Minoan site towards the east of the island which gives its name to a distinctive ceramic ware. Fornicorfi, a site on the south of the island. Pisira, island town with ritual sites. Mount Juxish, the greatest of the Minoan peak sanctuaries because of its association with the Palace of Knossos. Archaluchori, the fine site of the famous Archaluchori Axe. Kafi, a refuge site from the late Minoan period, one of the last of the Minoan sites. Akrotiri, settlement on the island of Santorini, near the site of the Thera eruption. Zomanthos, a mountainous city in the northern foothills of Mount Ida. Minoans beyond Crete Minoans were traders, and their cultural contacts reached far beyond the island of Crete, to Egypt's old kingdom, to copper-bearing Cyprus, Canaan, and the Levantine coasts beyond, and to Anatolia. In late 2009, Minoan-style frescoes and other Minoan-style artifacts were discovered during excavations of the Canaanite palace at Tel Kabri, Israel, leading archaeologists to conclude that the Minoan influence was the strongest foreign influence on that Canaanite city-state. These are the only Minoan remains ever found in Israel. Minoan techniques and styles in ceramics also provided models of fluctuating influence for Helladich, Greece. Along with the familiar example of Thera, Minoan colonies can be found first at Castrion Sidera, an island close to the Greek mainland that came under Minoan influence in the mid-third millennium and remained Minoan in culture for a thousand years, until Mycenaean occupation in the 13th century. The use of the term colony, however, like thalassocracy, has been criticized in recent years. The Minoan strata there replace a mainland-derived culture in the early Bronze Age, the earliest Minoan settlement outside Crete. The Cyclades were in the Minoan cultural orbit, and, closer to Crete, the islands of Carpathos, Seria and Kakos, also contained Minoan colonies, or settlements of Minoan traders, from the Middle Bronze Age. Most of them were abandoned in LMI, but Minoan Carpathos recovered and continued with the Minoan culture until the end of the Bronze Age. Other supposed Minoan colonies, such as that hypothesized by Adolf Fertwangler for Aegina, were later dismissed by scholars. There was a Minoan colony at Ialysos on Rhodes. Minoan cultural influence indicates an orbit that extended not only throughout the Cyclades but in locations such as Egypt and Cyprus. 
Paintings from the 15th century BCE in Thebes, Egypt depict a number of individuals, who are Minoan in appearance, bearing gifts. Inscriptions record these people as coming from Keftiu, or the islands in the midst of the sea, and may refer to gift-bringing merchants or officials from Crete. Certain locations within Crete emphasize it as an outward-looking society. The neo-palatial site of Cato Zacris, for instance, is located within 100 meters of the modern shoreline, situated within a bay. Its large number of workshops and the richness of its site materials indicate a potential entrepot for import and export. Such activities are elaborated in artistic representations of the sea, including the flotilla fresco from Room 5 in the West House at Akrotiri. Settlements of the Minoan civilization. These are the estimated populations of hamlets, villages, and towns of the Minoan civilization over time. Note that there are several problems with estimating the sizes of individual settlements, and the highest estimates for a given settlement, in a given period, may be several times the lowest. Society and culture. The Minoans were primarily a mercantile people engaged in overseas trade. Their culture, from 1700 BCE onward, shows a high degree of organization. The Minoan trade in saffron, the stigma of a mutated crocus which originated in the Aegean basin as a natural chromosome mutation, has left fewer material remains. A fresco of saffron gatherers at Santorini is well known. This inherited trade predated Minoan civilization. A sense of its rewards may be gained by comparing its value to frankincense, or later, to pepper. Archaeologists tend to emphasize the more durable items of trade. Ceramics, copper, and tin, and dramatic luxury finds of gold and silver. Objects of Minoan manufacture suggest there was a network of trade with mainland Greece, Cyprus, Syria, Anatolia, Egypt, Mesopotamia, and westward as far as the coast of Spain. Minoan men wore loincloths and kilts. Women wore robes that had short sleeves and layered flounced skirts. The robes were open to the navel, allowing their breasts to be left exposed. Women also had the option of wearing a strapless fitted bodice. The patterns on clothes emphasized symmetrical geometric designs. Given the fragility of organic materials, other forms of dress may have been worn of which no archaeological evidence exists. The Minoan religion focused on female deities, with females officiating. The frescoes include many depictions of people, with the genders distinguished by color. The men's skin is reddish-brown, the women's white. Language and writing Knowledge of the spoken and written language of the Minoans is scant, due to the small number of records found. Clay tablets dating to around 3000 BCE were found with the various Cretan scripts. Clay tablets seem to have been in use from around 3000 BCE or earlier. Two clay cups from Knossos have been found to have remnants of ink, and ink well similar to the animal-shaped ink stands from Mesopotamia have also been found. Sometimes the Minoan language is referred to as Etiocretan. But this confuses the language written in Linear A scripts and the language written in a Euboean-derived alphabet after the Greek Dark Ages. While the Etiocretan language is believed to be a descendant of Minoan, there is not enough source material in either language to allow conclusions to be made. The earliest dated writing found on Crete is the Cretan hieroglyphs. It is not known whether this language is Minoan or not and its origin is still a topic of debate. These hieroglyphs are often associated with the Egyptians, but they also show relation to several other writings from the region of Mesopotamia. The hieroglyphs came into use from MMI, they were used at the same time as the emerging Linear A from the 18th century BCE. The hieroglyphs disappeared at some point during the 17th century BCE. In the Mycenaean period, Linear A was replaced by Linear B, recording a very archaic version of the Greek language. Linear B was successfully deciphered by Michael Ventress in 1952, but the earlier scripts remain a mystery.
The overwhelming majority of tablets are written in the Linear B script, apparently being inventories of goods or resources. Others are inscriptions on religious objects associated with a cult. Because most of these inscriptions are concise economic records rather than dedicatory inscriptions, the translation of Minoan remains a challenge. Unless Etiocretan truly is its descendant, the Minoan language may have become extinct during the Greek Dark Ages, a time of economic and socio-political collapse. Art the greatest collection of Minoan art is in the museum at Heraklion, near Knossos on the north shore of Crete. Minoan at, with other remains of material culture, especially the sequence of ceramic styles, has been used by archaeologists to define the three phases of Minoan culture discussed above. Since wooden textiles have vanished through decomposition, the best preserved and so most easily learned from Surviving examples of Minoan art are its pottery, the palace architecture with frescoes that include landscapes, stone carvings, and intricately carved seal stones. Pottery in the early Minoan period ceramics were characterized by linear patterns of spirals, triangles, curved lines, crosses, fishbone motifs, and such. In the Middle Minoan period, naturalistic designs such as fish, squid, birds, and lilies work omen. In the Late Minoan period, flowers and animals were still the most characteristic, but the variability had increased. The palace style of the region around Knossos is characterized by a strong geometric simplification of naturalistic shapes and monochromatic paintings. Notable are the similarities between late Minoan and Mycenaean art. Frescoes were the main form of art during these times of the Minoan culture. This jug on the left is dated from the late Minoan Ib, or 16th century BCE. On Crete, the Minoans led an apparently peaceful and prosperous existence that thrived on their sea girt island. Contacts between the island inhabitants and the neighbors in the eastern Mediterranean were widespread. This is attested by the fact that this jug was found in Egypt. Minoan knowledge of the sea was continued by the Mycenaeans in their frequent use of marine forms among the many natural motifs employed in the decoration of beautifully designed utilitarian and decorative objects. The four large creatures on this spouted pitcher are nautiluses which jauntily wave their tentacles in a rhythmic if unrealistic fashion. Corals, algae, and other sea life fill every space in an underwater composition bursting with vitality.